personal injuries. Anyone who strikes a man and kills him shall surely be put to death. However, if he does not do it intentionally, but God lets it happen, he is to flee to a place I will designate. But if a man schemes and kills another man deliberately, take him away from my altar and put him to death. Anyone who attacks his father or his mother must be put to death. Anyone who kidnaps another and either sells him or still has him when he is caught must be put to death. Anyone who curses his father or mother must be put to death. If men quarrel and one hits the other with a stone or with his fist, and he does not die but is confined to bed, the one who struck the blow will not be held responsible. If the other gets up and walks around outside with his staff, however, he must bear the injured man for the loss of his time and see that he is completely healed. If a man beats his male or female slave with a rod and the slave dies as a direct result, he must be punished. But he is not to be punished. If the slave gets up after a day or two, since the slave is his property, if men were fighting with a pregnant woman, and she gives birth prematurely, but there is no serious injury, the offender must be fined whatever the woman's husband deems demands, and the court allows. But if there is serious injury, you are to take life for life. I. For eye, tooth, for tooth, hand, for hand, foot, for foot, burn for burn, wound, for wound, bruise, for bruise. If a man hits a manservant or maidservant in the eye and destroys it, he must let the servant go free. Uh, to compensate for the eye, and if he knocks out the tooth of a man's servant or maid servant, he must let the servant go free to compensate 